welcome. Maybe welcome back. <coughs> My name is Tyler from Home Run Haven Farm, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of woodworking. This is a project that I've been coming up that I've come up with uh, for my bank account manager, my banker. I don't know. She is someone I know at the bank who really helped us out this month. So I'm making her a wood project. This specific wood project is a walnut apple, a walnut wood apple with um, a copper inlay. So a little, a little complex. I'll show you. Let's see what happens. Welcome to the shop. We are in here creating some cool stuff today. Behind me I've got a few pieces of walnut, uh, just some off cuts that I got from uh, the shop. And if you can tell, I've cut, I've drawn a circle there because this is going to be the base. The base. I've never done this before. This is really thick. I think it's almost two inches thick. Uh, I'm going to try cutting it using my scroll saw here. I've also got this apple. I just uh, traced this apple. It's going to be three pieces, the apple, the leaf, and the stem. I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. So I'm going to get some glue on this, wait like two, three minutes, and then get it stuck to this, and then we'll start cutting. This is what I'm using, by the way. You can get it at the craft section at Walmart. Jesus. It's a little stopped up. Okay. Okay, got a little on there. And an apple. So at this point, I really wasn't sure if my uh, little scroll saw was going to be able to cut through uh, two solid inches of walnut hardwood, but uh, it seemed to be getting the job done. And one other thing that I was worried about was um, even if it did get the job done, that the cut after it came out was uh, going to be all you know wobbly and uh, not straight. And I, I tell you what, y'all, much, much to my surprise, it was very straight. Um, even on the bottom part where, you know, it tends to be off cut from your lines, it was still pretty much straight. And, you know, I was really happy about that. Seven straight minutes of just it worked though that's cool and we got this solid disc brick well that looks pretty good to me that turned out really good oh yeah dude this thing can handle two inches okay then that settles that and on a hardwood like walnut wow now I get to take this thing over to the uh, uh, router and the sander and just clean this up. Whew. Now comes this guy. When I got started on the apple, uh, I was extremely worried. Um, I was actually thinking that this was not going to work. And, you know, I was going to try it, but I, in my mind, I was leaning towards this is not going to work. There's no way that I'm going to be able to cut two inches of walnut using this, the cheapest scroll saw that you could buy off of Amazon. <coughs> and uh, so I somehow... Somehow, I was able to cut through and get this apple shape out, and it actually turned out. The one part that turned out a little bit weirdly shaped was the leaf, 
but it wasn't enough to make it not look like a leaf. <laughs> so everything turned out really good. I very it was a good day. It was a good day in the shop. Okay. That is how the apple will look. Not too bad. Not too bad. <clears throat> I'm going to go on this uh, face plate here, which I'm going to route using a uh, ch uh, chamfer bit. I think it's the chamfer bit. I've got a plan for the uh, copper inlay. It's going to be really cool. It's kind of going to be like a river, sort of. Uh, it's going to go like across here, and spread out, and then it's going to wrap around. Okay, so now I've got all these pieces sanded, ready to go. Um, I'm now going to run them through the router. This one, both edges, this one, just on the top. I did want to stop and make a comment that, uh, you know, just a few years ago, I didn't know any of this. I didn't know anything about woodworking. Um, I just sort of decided that I was going to do it one day. You know, I wasn't good. <laughs> I certainly wasn't good at it at first, but it's just one of those things. It's, uh, I just wanted to say anything that you set your mind to do, you can do. It doesn't matter if you have no experience, you can do it. You know, if you, if you try to do it and apply yourself and keep trying, no matter what happens, you will end up getting done what you're trying to do you know if you want to try woodworking go for it man be careful of course but anything that you want to try anything that you want to do just try it because it is within your power to become good at that thing anything really It's been a pretty big struggle to get any gardening done this season. I've been transitioning, <clears throat> I've been transitioning uh, jobs, and you know, just everything's been kind of changing lately, especially with my family. Yeah, man. It's um, sometimes it's not about what you get out of the garden; it's about what you get out of life. And uh, I think that this year has been a totally different run for me than it ever has been before. So, I don't know, we're moving into fall now and I'm just, uh, I'm optimistic about the future and what I can do and what things hold for us. So, ready to get started. Hope you guys are doing well in your uh, season, wherever you're at, wherever you're at in life. You know, just remember, don't give up, keep growing. You can always get better. You can always make a change and turn your life into something that it totally wasn't just a few years before, you know? <clears throat> Thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you all in the next one.